Hey, it's Jeff from the Abbey. I'm shooting a quick video for you from my home um, because one of the most powerful ways that we can reinforce spirituality is by creating a sacred environment in our home. And you don't see much of a sacred environment behind me, just a dirty kitchen, but we do in our home have many uh, sacred icons and crucifixes and things like that to remind us that our relationship with God needs to be central. Now, one of my family's favorite ways of creating a sacred environment is to use an advent wreath during advent. And I sent you an article explaining that tradition in case you're not already doing that in your own home. And I just wanted to spend some time in this quick video sharing with you some of the Advent wreaths that I have chosen to sell this year through From the Abbey. Now, From the Abbey is not a rel religious goods store. We're actually a spirituality uh, program, an online spirituality program. But we do sell Catholic books and media that support our mission. So we don't have a wide variety of Advent wreaths for sale at From the Abbey. But what I've done is selected a few specific wreaths that I thought did a great job of aiding our learning and also our prayer. That these, these wreaths can really help to foster a deeper spiritual life during Advent. So let's take a look at what we have. The first wreath I have for you is just your basic wreath frame. And this one is actually a little more expensive than the others because it is made of solid brass. But uh, this would be what you would want to purchase if you're looking to do the classic green wreath. And if you buy this frame, I would send you a um, link to an article that explains the symbolism and the rich meaning behind the different greens used in an Advent wreath. Greens like the, uh, obviously the evergreen bough, but also the holly and the laurel which have very specific meanings uh, for Christians. The wreath frame comes with uh, some wax catching discs here, so you can put those on or keep them off, but they do help to catch the wax and keep your brass from getting stained with the purple and the pink wax. Uh, they do come with the four candles. You can see that there's also a space in the middle for a white Christmas candle. A white Christmas candle is not included, doesn't come with the sets that I have access to, but you can but just buy a regular white taper candle. The, the candle wells are very deep, so you can use different sizes of candles. Um, you usually you have to use the right size base in order to have a tight fit, but this is a deep well, so it keeps your candles pretty sturdy. So that's the first one. It's a simple brass frame. The next wreath is kind of a unique design. This is quite a bit smaller than most Advent wreaths and not really made for greens to go around like most Advent wreaths are. But this is called the Nativity Advent wreath. And as you can see, we have images from the Bible story of the Nativity. We have the wise men here and the shepherds, the angels, and of course the Holy Family. And this would be a great wreath to use, especially with children, to go through the, the story of the birth of Christ and to use those images to illustrate the story from the Bible. Um, and, and there are four stories there, so you could choose four Bible readings and have one for each week of Advent. Uh, so that's why I chose this one to sell, because I think it's a great teaching tool, especially for families with children, but also to reflect on your own. Notice that the middle is intended for a pillar candle which would be a beautiful Christmas candle. So, and also, of course, longer burning than the taper candles would be. So again, that's the Nativity Advent Wreath. Very beautiful little wreath. Our next wreath is called the Journey to Bethlehem Wreath. And this is just a great little reflection and teaching wreath. It actually would be a great companion to a book that's also called Journey to Bethlehem, which isn't really related to this except in concept, but I think it would be a great companion to this wreath for children. But this wreath also offers great reflection for adults on the Christmas story. So you see that the wreath is made up of four panels. The first panel is the shepherds receiving the news about Jesus. The second panel, we see the wise men following the star to Bethlehem. Bethlehem's over here. On the third panel, we see Bethlehem itself with the star above it. And on the fourth panel, we see the nativity scene. 
Now this wreath also comes with a brochure and I want to let you know that all the wreaths will come with a brochure and the candles. The greens are not included but I want to make sure that you are as prepared as possible to start using the wreath in your home right away. So I include candles and a brochure even if they don't usually come with a wreath but this one does have a brochure that it comes with and this is a neat little tool because it actually gives you reflections to use for each week. So you see the traditional Advent prayers, but also it has a scripture reading, and you can use one of those per day. So again, a great little teaching wreath, very beautiful, kind of a purple for Advent with gold gilded images. Very nice reflection wreath. Now we come to my favorite wreath of the year. This is called the Anticipation Advent Wreath. I just love this wreath. It has a very rustic look. It's made out of a very solid resin. And what I love about it is that on each panel for each week of Advent, there are these images that are teaching images helping us reflect on salvation history, much in the same way that the Jesse tree does. Though these are not all uh, following salvation history through the Bible, there, there are other symbols involved here as well. So this would be a great complement to the Jesse tree. So this pamphlet for this wreath comes with an explanation of each symbol and prayers to use for that week. And you can see that the first week it says the, the theme is roots from the past. And the theological virtue it focuses on is faith. The second week, the coming of the Savior is the theme. And the virtue it focuses on is peace. For the third week, the theme is the new way. And it focuses on the theological virtue of love. And the fourth week has the theme of the time to come. And it focuses on the theological virtue of hope. And then the symbols for each of those weeks helps you to reflect on the theme of the week. So for the first section, Roots from the Past on Faith, we have the Tree of Life, Noah's Ark, the Anchor, and then finally the Open Bible, which of course symbolizes the living Word of God. For the second week, the coming of the Savior and the virtue of peace, we have an angel announcing the coming of the Lord. We have the star over Bethlehem. We have the three gifts of the Magi. And we have the shepherd's crook. For the third week, the new way, love, which focuses on Jesus' teachings of love, we have the Lamb of God. We have joined hands, which represents the unity of all people in the Catholic faith, universal worldwide faith. We have the burning candle, representing Jesus as the light of the world. And we have the bread and wine, which of course represents the Holy Eucharist. And finally, the final week, the final section of the Advent wreath is the time to come. And this emphasizes the theological virtue of hope. So we have the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus is the beginning and the end. We have sheaves of wheat, which represents uh, new life, also represents abundance and fulfillment. But mainly I think this represents the harvest at the end of time. We have the rising sun, which of course is a symbol of a new day and um, always a sign of new beginning and hope and resurrection. And finally, we have the lily, which is a very common Easter sign symbolizing new life and resurrection. So the symbols are very rich and very, very beautiful. I love this wreath. Our next item is kind of a unique item. It's not really an Advent wreath, but it certainly could be used like one. But also if you already have an Advent wreath, I think this would be a beautiful addition to the sacred decor of your home. This is a votive candle holder. Uh, it's, it's labeled an Irish votive candle holder. And it comes with the purple and rose colored candle glass. And it comes with the votive candles. So. Just put the vote of candles into the glass and then put the glass into the holders on the bottom. So there are, of course, three purple and one rose colored candles. And when you light them, the, the light coming through the colored glass does tend to cast a purple glow around the, the inside of the, the holder. Uh, obviously, 
And we have the front decorated with a, a symbol of the Holy Family. And it looks like Irish knots or something like that on the, on the outside. Very beautiful piece. And this would be great for a smaller type of Advent wreath, uh, simpler. Uh, but also, as I said, as in, in addition to the, the sacred decor of your home. I have one more item to show you that's also on sale this week with the Advent wreaths. Like I said, I don't have a very large selection of these things because this is an educational apostolate. But as an educational apostolate, we have a great dedication to the Holy Family as a sign of our vocation to marriage and family life. And living our vocation is one of the main tenets of, from the Abbey Spirituality Program. So this beautiful Holy Family statue would be a great addition for Christmas. You can see that it has the Holy Family as often depicted in the shape of a heart, roughly. And the star is underneath Jesus. The inscription on the bottom says, And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his name. So this is a resin statue. It's fairly light, but uh, it is beautifully made. You can see Joseph's hands around Mary's back. I love that. So this and the Advent Reese will all be on sale in the coming week for 20% off at mycatholicbooksandmedia.com. So I hope you enjoyed this look at this year's selection of Advent Reese. And if you don't already use Advent Reese in the home, I hope you'll seriously consider starting that beautiful tradition. If you do, I hope one of the other items might help you to add to the sacred decor of your home. A couple more quick points. From the Abbey is not a storefront. It is an educational and a spiritual program. And many of the items sold in our bookstore do go on the road. So when you receive your Advent wreath or your sacred item, you may notice that the packaging may be a little bit beaten up. And that's because not only do these things travel, but they go in and out of the packages because I let people look at them and make sure it's what they want. So the packaging can get a little beaten up, but before I send anything to you, I always make sure that the item itself is number one, in perfect condition, and number two, is as protected as it can be. So while the packaging might show some wear and tear, you know, the styrofoam might be flaking off or the, the plastic might be ripped uh, and repaired with a piece of tape or something, the, the item itself will always be in the condition that you expect. And it is guaranteed not only by me, but also by the Buy Safe Buyer's Protection Program that I purchased for you. Thanks again for joining me and look forward to next week when we'll be taking a look at some articles on the Incarnation and the meaning of Advent. See you then.